my sewing friends. I have more fabric and patterns to show you from my recent summer vacation. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room and oh my goodness I have so much stuff to show you from my vacation. It kind of turned into the fabric pattern sewing let's go another place kind of vacation. One of the places that I visited with my husband was Mount Airy, North Carolina and we went there because it's Mayberry. It's where Andy Griffith was born and grew up. I told my husband, why don't you go do your thing and I'll go do my thing. So I went walking down the main street and I came to a couple of shops. One was called the Fabric Menagerie. Let me tell you, these women are fantastic. They are so nice. I had been at another shop. I had a little red bag and I went shopping in the fabric menagerie and when I walked out, I walked out with the bags from there, but I left my little red bag from the other shop there. I called them and they were so wonderfully kind to send it to me. So I have nothing but praise for these folks. So I got fabric and patterns. Let me get straight to it so that uh, you can see those. This is three and a half yards of 60 wide and it is a poly cotton knit. This was, uh, I think it was on a bolt, and um, I just really liked the colors. I think I can do, I can do a lot with that. You know, a knit dress, and it's got some weight to it, so I really liked that. Um, I'm kind of gravitating, when I buy knits now, to uh, poly cotton, or just 100% cotton. I don't think this, this might be 100% cotton, but I don't think so. I think it's uh, poly cotton, so yeah three and a half yards that'll be nice now the rest of these were on a table and they had divided up the tables by this part is this much per pound this part is this much per pound and this part is this much per pound so I grabbed things and um, they were different weights and they're cuts you know it's not like yardage that you can have cut but uh, they did have that, but I just picked these up and it was so cheap. Oh my gosh. I think all the fabric that I had weighed was only like, I don't know, probably under $10. So I really didn't make out like a bandit. As usual, you know, it takes some work to make out like a bandit, but you know, it can be done. This is a yard and a half and it is 62 inches wide and it is knit. It's a cotton poly knit but it's island. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. Or as they say in England, a much prettier, nicer word for this would be broderie anglais because it's embroidered. Yeah. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is gorgeous. It's just so beautiful, but it's embroidered. Isn't that beautiful? Cream with uh, almost like a candle wicking kind of embroidery. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I caught my eye and I just said, yes, let's do that. Now this is three pieces. It's, uh, it's I think this is drapery fabric and um, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love this kind of stuff. This is very 1980s, very pastel you know, all of the colors, just so pretty. I love it. So I've got a little less than three yards between all three pieces here. So that's gonna be, um, I don't know, it's just a nice amount of fabric to work with, depending on what I wanna make. This is rayon. It's a yard, it's 45 wide. And I just liked it. I don't know if I could do like a, maybe a top from this. I'm not sure. A yard, probably I could, a very simple top, but it's just, it's got a nice feel to it and it's rayon and I can't pass up rayon, not for nothing. Yeah, that'll be nice. This is seven eighths of a yard. It is 48 inches wide, but it is, I thought, I don't know, it's like a canvas, but it's not, it's pin cord. Look at this. It's a corduroy. Oh, and it just feels so nice. Not sure what I can do with three quarters of a yard. It's also got some stretch, which is nice. Not just two-way stretch, but look at that. No, 
not sure what I can do with that, but you can bet that I'll figure out something. <laughs> it's probably cotton lycra because, you know, corduroy usually is. It's so, you can hardly even see that it's corduroy, but it is. It's like a needle cord and it's kind of brushed. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, last piece of fabric is a yard and an eighth. It's 56 inches wide and I bought it because I like having this color of whatever it is in my stash. Because I often will use it to trim off like a border or a cuff or something like that. And uh, I was just glad to find the color. And it's just a calico cotton, nothing more than that. Probably polyester and cotton. I doubt that it's 100% cotton. I don't know, it might be. Feels really nice. But that's why I bought that. Okay, so that's all of the fabric. I have four patterns to show you. These were, well, she, I think she gave them to me for 50 cents each because I was buying so much other stuff. I'm pretty sure that's what she said to me. But these, these are nice finds. This one is Simplicity 5449. It's from 1972. That's a dress, actually. It's one dress. It's not like a top and a skirt. It's a dress. And I thought, ooh, that's just so cute. I like that. And it's a size 14. I'm really trying to be selective about the vintage patterns that I buy now because I wanna buy something I will make. So it needs to be in a size that I can wear. So I can wear a 14. I like the little pockets here. Yeah. This is New Look 6136. It's probably from the 1990s. I don't know. New Look never dated their patterns back then. So 6136 and um, all the sizes are in this envelope. And isn't that a gorgeous dress? Beautiful, beautiful dress. New Look was very much that way back then. There's also another company called Style that did this kind of a look to their patterns. And then I have three treasures. Let me show you the first one. I'm not finding a date on it, but it is Simplicity 5391, and it says Paris Fashion. It's probably from the 1960s. So, so pretty. This I grabbed because I'd never heard of it before. It's Holly Make Believe, and it's by Diane David. It is a little kid's outfit. It's uh, Butterick. Uh, 3335, 3335, yes. It is from 1994, and look at this. How cute is that? I couldn't pass that up. It was just adorable. I thought, oh, so cute. It's a dress and bloomers and a hat. Oh, so cute. Sometimes, you know, I buy these and I think, what am I gonna do with that? And then I think, if nothing else, I'll put it on my wall in a frame, because it's just too cute. And the last one, this was a find. This is uh, from 1982. It is McCall's 7912. See that? Yep, I collect these. This is Laura Ashley. Another nautical looking dress, but boy, I tell you what, I'd wear that dress in a heartbeat. I would. This is a size 14. I haven't got the right size. So yeah, that was the find of the day. And that is everything I got at the Fabric Menagerie. If you are in Mount Airy, please do go give them a visit because they've got all kinds of fabric. It's, uh, they've got fabric on bolts by the yard, they've got quilting cottons, they've got apparel fabric, and then they've got those tables in the middle that are all by the pound. They've got over, yeah, I mean, it's just everywhere. And at the far end of all the tables are all the vintage patterns, so have a look. Uh, that will do it for now for me. And uh, if you would like some of the to see some of the other things that I bought on this trip that I took, my summer vacation trip, I'm going to create a playlist for you and it'll be right here. I will leave you with this. First of all, thanks for watching. And second of all, uh, do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. I want to do that every day. And I hope you do too.